Lunar New Year is coming up this Sunday, and you can celebrate with local Asian-owned businesses across the Puget Sound. Yeah, it is going to be fun. It's starting this weekend, Lucky uh, Envelope Brewing in Ballard is going to be hosting an eight-day long, if you can believe it, eight-day celebration with special beer releases and even some events that we're going to be playing. you got to talk to That's us about right. this. Yeah. yeah, Barry Chan, welcome. Thanks so you're the founder. Yeah, I'm the co-founder and head brewer of Lucky Envelope Brewing in Ballard. Amazing. Yeah. Great. Tell yeah. us all about everything you do. Yeah, so um, we opened in May of 2015. We're located in Ballard, and uh, we love brewing culturally inspired beers. And what that means is we like to brew very traditional styles of beer, uh, European lagers, IPA. Mm -hmm. But then we also like to put uh, different twists from inspiration that we receive from um, cultures from around the world. And um, I'm really excited for you to try some of these beers that we did put a twist onto. Yeah, and you've managed to stay in Ballard a long time too. You've been in business for eight years. Eight years. What's it's the secret? Yeah. What's the trick? <laughs> the beer. The beer the is the secret. Uh, yeah. Um, is have a very supporting spouse. Oh, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, it's, for it's, sure. it's awesome. Um, yeah, she's amazing, and uh, she helps keep the whole family together, and also deals with my uh, my craziness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we always have to have someone to balance that balance. Absolutely. Yeah, you, have, you definitely have to, but you're kind of doing generations and cross uh, pollination of all these beers across the world to kind of bring it all back home here. Yeah, that's correct. Um, yeah, with that, uh, we have. Um, we have three different beers that um, I wanted to share with you today, yeah. so you get a little, you get a little sneak preview of what we're offering um, that we're going to be releasing starting on Saturday of this week. Let's oh, do cool. it. Let's, cool. Let's check them out. All right. And while you're pouring those, tell us kind of about some of the events that you have coming up too. I know you, you're really big on the community. Yeah. So the uh, first events that we're going to be doing is kind of our. We uh, have a. Uh, it's going to start Saturday the 21st mm -hmm. and go to the 22nd. 21st is going to be the first day that we're operating. And um, what we do is we give out lucky red envelopes, which you can see right there. Oh, yeah. um, and those are very traditional mm -hmm. uh, gifts that the older generation gives the younger generation. Um, What's those, usually inside? Uh, money. 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 Oh, yeah. uh, money. Do we get money if we come? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are full. Uh, they get little coupons and you can get oh, cool. uh, gifts. So uh, you can get like a t-shirt or some uh, couple dollars off a of beer, nice. things like that. And that's what our brewery is actually named named after is the lucky em lucky red envelope oh gosh, and traditionally awesome. the red is supposed to ward off evil spirits um, and the money inside is supposed to bring you good luck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's try that. I don't mean to be pushy, but let's yeah. try <laughs> And also tell us a little bit about uh, you have uh, you're one of the only businesses, Asian run businesses here and how you're contributing to the community and bringing other communities and partners in to kind of make this work. Yeah, so uh, we are one of the few, um, as far as I know, Asian American Cheers, owned. Cheers. A few Asian American yeah. owned breweries in Washington and, um, you know, even in the greater uh, United States. So um, what we like to do is mm -hmm. we like to uh, reinforce those ties that we have with the Asian American community. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of uh, shared history, shared heritage. But then also with that, we can partner with those businesses and we can also bring um, kind of beer drinkers that may be not <laughs> familiar with um, Asian American traditions or Chinese culture, uh, bring them into the fold, bring them into our sphere because um, Lunar New Year celebration right. has been so big mm -hmm. for my family and for uh, Chinese culture. And uh, people love to come in and, you know, we share them by giving out red envelopes and um, just have special fun beers that we uh, collaborate with with um, breweries. Um, especially for Lunar New Year uh, that are Asian American owned um, both in Seattle and around the country. Yeah, and this is fantastic. Tell us about some of the different canned beers that you're releasing. Yeah, so the beer that you're tasting right now, that is our uh, Yuzu Pilsner that we brewed with Highland Brewing out of Asheville, Ooh. North Carolina. Okay. And, uh, We've been partnered with, with them for the past four years, and um, the owner there, uh, Leah Wong Ashburn, she's the president and CEO of the company. Uh, she is uh, Chinese American, and uh, we've established a really good relationship with her, the brew team, and um, when we had the chance to travel pre-pandemic, it was a great time, and we hope to bring it back and um, connect again in the future. Oh my gosh, well this is so awesome. Um, my glass is less than yours. <laughs> I've, been enjoying, I've been letting Carly do the talking. So I love you're passionate about this. What, what brought you up this way? What made you so passionate? Um, it was, I think for me, the passion just came from me finding something I was, that stoked my interest. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like the, the chemistry behind the beer. I love the history of the beer, um, but I also love the creativity that you can have with the beer, bringing in outside ingredients, things that are a little, um, 
little unusual or not so typical uh, in the brewing industry these days. And another one of the beers that you'll get to try uh, will be a uh, beer that we infused with uh, re uh, lychee rose black tea. Ooh. That sounds, that sounds yeah. really like it could be a latte or a beer. Yeah. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for yeah. coming in here today. And if you want to check out Lucky Envelope Brewing's Lunar New Year celebration, it's all starting January 21st. We'll have all their info up on our website. It's on your screen right now, fox13seattle.com. Just click on Studio 13 links.